Hi. I had inguinal hernia repair surgery, a mesh open surgery. And I'm just going to tell you about my experiences with it because, uh, hey, I've seen a few of these videos and it was really helpful to me. Was I nervous? Yes, of course I was nervous. Uh, I was getting, um, you know, an inguinal hernia. It was popping out in my groin uh, and it'd been going on for about three months and I went to see a physician who said you definitely need surgery. Uh, I'm in Canada, we have free health care, so you generally have to wait a little longer for surgery. I had my uh, ultrasound and then I went and saw a surgeon who said yes we'll definitely do it. Now I had open surgery so they, they made an incision which is approximately four inches in, in my groin area. Uh, I was in the hospital for a few hours, frankly. I, I My surgery began at 8 a.m. and I was out by, say, noon. Um, <clears throat> once the surgery was finished, uh, they, they use general anesthetic. Um, of course, they ask you all the important questions that they need to ask to make sure that your heart and pulmonary system works well. When I woke up, I had some pain. <clears throat> now, before the surgery, I, I, I tried to lay off crappy food and as much solid food and tried to eat light and tried to drink a lot of water. Uh, it was my understanding that you didn't want constipation. Now, I had been wearing one of these stupid things uh, to try and keep the hernia under control. It, it seemed to choke it off or do more harm than good, so I hear conflicting stories. Now, um, they did the mesh, mesh surgery, so, you know, it involves suturing, the, the, you know, the, the bag, the sac that the, the, the hernia goes into, and then, you know, cutting off the excess and putting in a, a mesh that your tissue grows around. It's sort of like rebar in construction. That's the way it was explained to me. I'm not a doctor. I'm a musician. I woke up in the hospital. I was feeling kind of, you know, groggy, of course. Um, nauseous uh, they, because I think they gave me an opiate of some kind and it didn't agree with my tummy. They gave me gravel. I felt fine within 10 minutes. But, you know, it's done through intravenous anyway. Uh, once they could see that I could walk and go pee, uh, they said I could go home. So uh, I went home. Now I'm on week number one. This is uh, now eight days since post-surgery. And, uh, you know, the first couple days were pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. Um, they did give me opiates to uh, help with the pain, which I avoided. Um, the reason I avoided them is because, you know, through my research, I found that people who were taking the opiates got um, uh, like constipation and apparently constipation is your worst enemy. So, you know, marijuana is legal in Canada. I was, you know, uh, smoking marijuana and, and, and taking um, Tylenol uh, and ice. Ice was a, my best friend. We, I was revolving ice packs. Uh, after surgery, I just again tried to keep my diet light and drank as much liquid as I could get in me without going too crazy. Um, they say that you're, you're, you should be up and walking around as much as possible. Now, uh, my advice is to do it, you know, listen to your body, you know. Your body will tell you what to, uh, you know, whether you should be getting up and walking around. Um, but do try. Uh, I'm up, I can do about an hour or two right now walking around and then I need to rest. I need to lie down, put some ice on. Um, and my surgeon said this is all perfectly normal. So uh, now post-op one week. So the first few days were pretty, pretty horrible, first couple days. Um, and uh, my pain happened to graduate. It was like a real like aching soreness. And then it graduated into like sharp pains here and there. So I went and saw my GP a couple of days ago just to make sure. And she looked and said, it's healing just fine. Um, they did adhesive strips for my incision. Uh, and it does appear to be healing fine. I took a shower uh, after day two. I took off the, the you know, the dressing and had a, a shower. Again, you know, trying to lift my arms was a complete and total challenge. It's getting better now. Look, see, I can lift my arms. I could not do that three days ago. So it is improving. And of course, I'll update and let everyone know, you know, what's happening. And if anyone has any questions, please throw them at me. But uh, so far, so good. Um, it does hurt. It feels like I've pulled a lot of muscles or I've been punched in the stomach. I have coughed and I've sneezed. 
and there's no sign of this thing wanting to break loose like it was before. And, and when I lift things, you know, I feel the strain, certainly. Uh, like, I don't lift anything heavy, by the way. But if I do feel a strain, it is in that area. And, it, you know, before it would make my hernia come out. Uh, now it's not coming out. So, obviously, the surgeon did something right. So, um, you know, don't be afraid. If you can avoid the, the opiates, I would. Um, simply because I haven't had any trouble in that department. And I'm finding a lot of videos, people are saying, oh, you know, I'm having a lot of trouble with constipation. Um, I didn't have any of that trouble. Generally, I don't have a great diet, but uh, <clears throat> I didn't have any troubles in that department. So, you know, and, and also, you know, whatever pain management you feel you need, I, I'm no specialist or anything. I'm telling you what worked for me. This certainly did work really well. So I'll check in after a little while and let everyone know how it's going because I know that, you know, follow-up videos seem to be a lot more important too. I hope you feel better.